So a while back, I got this email from Jen Turnage talking about Cadence Discipleship Ministries. I immediately read through the email because I wanted to know why were we venturing as a mission into a program in Thailand. It didn't seem like it was had anything to do with the military. And as I read through the email, I started to see, I started to catch a vision for what Cadence Discipleship Ministries was doing. Um, and then I saw that as a house director, there were opportunities for guys like me to take some of my folks overseas and expose them to world missions. And I immediately started a conversation with Jim talking about when we would be able to get a team over there. So when it was time for me to start adding people to the trip, uh, I started looking around and seeing some of these folks going and there were two people that went on the trip that stuck out beforehand. One of them was Skyla. As I was preparing for the mission trip, um, I really didn't feel like I was good enough and I felt like I was going to be taking someone better spot. I didn't really feel like I was supposed to be going, but when we got to the orphanage and I saw the kids and all the love and happiness they had, everything changed. It was at that moment when I heard them and, were pl and was playing with the little boy that God spoke to me and that's when I heard him say, see, see what I can do through you and that's when I felt meant to be there. I knew that when I invited Skyla to be a part of the trip that there was a chance she'd probably want to go back. Next I've applied to go to CDM um, and I'm trying to go back for the four and a half month discipleship program in August. I am so excited to be able to go back and see my kids again. Denise was another person that I knew had uh, real potential for growth. I went to Thailand to develop a better, closer relationship with God. I had no idea what was going to happen when I was there. I thought we were going to go there and hang out and play with kids. Seeing how these kids have nothing, they're still happy. They know that God still loves them no matter what. It opened up a lot of feelings that I didn't know that I had. Surrounding myself by other Christians, I realized that I don't have to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. Everyone has a past. And no matter what happened in the past, God still loves me. On the last day, I realized something had to change. I always felt like I was running from something. I'm done running and I could put my trust in him, but it's okay. That I'd have to stop putting and looking for trust in, in other people, because people aren't going to help me. People aren't going to save me. Only Jesus will. And I think that's when I realized it, that I had to make a big change in my life. Wes and Heike and I sitting in the back and we had a discussion about Jesus and why I haven't accepted Je Jesus into my life yet. That's because I, I didn't have trust. I was always scared to trust Him. During that conversation is when I fully put all my trust in Jesus and I felt like relieved. I was not living a godly life before I went to Thailand. The short-term missions trip absolutely changed my life. I really want to encourage all the house directors to send Jim an email and uh, start considering the possibilities of taking your house on a short-term missions trip. I can promise you the impact that your team will have from this trip will last a lifetime. And I couldn't be more pleased with what Cadence is doing worldwide.